there's another question which has been asked that many times there are many difficult things which happen in our life difficulties come but at the same time we always hear that they say that we should see opportunity in adversity so can you explain a bit on this how to do this and what should be our consciousness and can you cite some examples of great personalities from the scriptures like the ramayana mahabharat and shrimad bhagavatam who did behave in the right way and the way we are expected to so very nice question so yes we will answer that question in short today all right so if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding how to convert difficulties into opportunities in your life then you could go to my website down to book a reading we'll find it in the description section okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you convert difficulties into opportunities so now we have the classic example of lord ram he was at the pinnacle of a perfect human life perfect means almost near perfect he was married to the best lady sita devi he had the best brothers lakshman he had everything and anything which any human being can desire he 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 was supposed to inherit the throne of ayodhya and it is set in the ramayan that ayodhya when dasharat maharaj was the king was more prosperous than amravati amravati is the capital is the place capital of indra where he resides in the heavenly realms in the swarga loka so can you can you can you just think i mean no you can't think <laughs> because you have never seen the heavens how can you uh, imagine what ayodhya would look like for that you have to at least see the heavens and nobody has seen the heavens so it's very difficult to imagine that how can a city be more prosperous more beautiful more powerful than the city of the king of the heavens and the situation is such that when indra the king of the demigods had to fight against demons sometimes when he uh, when the demons would overpower him or he thought that they would overpower him then he would come down to the earthly realm to dasharath maharaj and he would say that we request you please help the devatas the demigods please help us in fighting the asuras can you believe it the denizens of the heavens headed by the king of the heavens he is coming to dasharath maharaj and asking that please help us you know without your help we cannot fight actually and that's why the name is dasharath one who could fight simultaneously in 10 directions and there are many other meanings also of this word dasharath but the point is lord ram was about just about to, he almost he was going to inherit everything and his situation was not like the political leaders of today no rivalry can you believe it <laughs> you are unanimously loved by everybody every single citizen of ayodhya they loved ram more than their own self every parent loved ram more than they loved their son or daughter every person loved ram more every brother loved ram more than they loved their own brothers no rivalry everybody is just dying to see you get into the throne my god insane it's not possible in kali yuga and then suddenly crap this mantra comes and says to kakai kakai is his stepmother that oh you know actually when ram becomes the king he will put you into prison and he will make you the dasi maid servant the slave of 
Ram's mother, Kaushalya. So that is why you must force Dasharat Maharaj, your so-called husband, to send Ram for 14 years to exile, Vanvas, and also coronate your son Bharat as the king. And then Dasharat Maharaj had long time back given a promise to KK once. And then KK said that whenever I need, I will ask <laughs> two boons. And then Dasharat Maharaj had no option. Of course, later on he died because of separation from Lord Ram. He could not tolerate it. He became invalid almost. But the point is, that's what the Ramayana uh, tells us that now, what happens in our life when we say that, you know, we have had some adversity, some difficulties, what happens at least, at the max? We face some competition or somebody steals money or, I mean, of course, worse thing, very bad things can also happen. But whatever happens in your life, whatever, whoever you are, it will never be as bad as what happened with Lord Ram. It will never be. And of course, I mean, Sita Devi also and Lakshman also. So, what did he do? Did he just say, Oh, world is terrible, you know. This world is such a bad place, you know. I hate you, father. I hate you, mother. I hate everybody. What is our default response when bad things happen? He did this, she did this, he did this, he did this, she did this. If at all he would have not done this, I would have got the promotion. Right? Does it sound like somebody? And then what Lord Ram did? He said that when I will go to the forest, it's a great opportunity for me. Why? Because... I can learn from the great sages, saints, rishis, the timeless sages which are residing in the different forests within the Indian subcontinent because I will, I have to stay in one forest, one vase. So it's a very good time. Now I may not be in the kingdom, I may not be eating good food, I may not be enjoying, I may not be having anything. but. There is something great which I am going to get. And that's what Lord Ram did. Before he was married, he met the great sage Vishwamitra. And Vasishtha was his school guru, of course. And later on, when he goes to the forests with Sita Devi and Lakshman, he meets one of the, the crest jewel of all the sages. Who is that? Yes, Maharishi Agastya. Agastya Rishi is the one. Then he meets, meets so many. He meets Sutikshan also. Yes, so many great sages. I can go on and on taking names. But the point is, it is not that by meeting the sages, his, the existing problems of Ayodhya or his rulership was it it went off no it did not subside it was still there he was still in the forest remember this so just because he was having some other opportunities it did not necessarily mean that he all his other problems which caused him to see this opportunity faded off no that that didn't happen but he was gaining in some other area. Of course, Lord Ram, he, he is Vishnu himself. He doesn't need to gain anything, knowledge or any information or any spiritual skill or something like that. But he is Maryada Purushottam, which means he is the perfect follower of religious principles and one who sets the standard. So that is why he demonstrates how to see opportunity in adversity. So, he went to the great sage Agastya Rishi and he learned so many things. And there are some versions of the Ramayana which also say that he also learned the Aditya Hridaya Stotra which is 
uh, which is there in the core heart of Lord Vishnu. Of course, he is Vishnu himself. <laughs> but they say that Agastya Rishi gave him this mantra by which he had killed Ravan. Agastya Rishi gave him divine weapons of the demigods which nobody had. So that means just because you are losing out in some area of your life, it does not mean that you are necessarily a complete failure. So that means when there is a failure in a particular area of your life, then you should see that which are the other areas of my life I can improve. Do whatever you can. That's the best lesson. And stop blaming. Stop con complaining. So for this you have to be in Sattva Guna. If you are not in Sattva Guna. Then you will just sit and complain. You will blame. He did this. He did this. Blah blah blah. And oh. <laughs> have you seen people going on. Chapar 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 chapar. 45 minutes they are bitching about somebody. He did this, you know, actually, you know, this happened, that happened, because of that, this happened, this happened. Oh. Stop it, man. <laughs> what is the end result of doing all this nonsense? Nothing. You, you go even down. You go even more. You sink into the hellish existence. Yes. So, we must be in Sattva Guna. We must do spiritual practices in the morning. Cultivate our consciousness. Give up eating meat. Eat a clean diet. Good food. Freshly cooked food. Stop eating fast food. Read scriptures like the Ramayana. Read scriptures like the Srimad Bhagavatam. Read scriptures like the Mahabharata. Then we will know about these great personalities like Yudhishthir Maharaj also. He was the undisputed emperor of the entire world. He was... Chakravarti Samrat because he did Rajasuya Yajna and suddenly one day everything is finished. He becomes a slave to Duryodhana. My God, nothing worse than that can happen to anybody. Okay, so we must do spiritual practices, read scriptures every day and in the weekend try to visit spiritual retreat centers or your gurus. And maintain connection with them. By that you will know how to convert difficulties into opportunities. Okay. There you go. If you are new then please like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you want a consultation from me. Then please go down to my website below. God is there with you. All the time just look to him and you will find him. Bye bye.